Hello guys, how are you? So we are in Neoris Blender 3.0. So we're gonna in this course we are going to using this version of Blender. So this is a full course, uh, guys, which we are made it for you. And uh, the link is in description. I'm working with um, Blender Guru. Okay, so all my courses is on Udemy in Blender Guru. I mean Motion Guru, I'm sorry. Blender Guru is some other guy. Um, so you can uh, check that one. The link is in the description, Udemy. So uh, we have actually here three animation, okay? If I just turn that one off and as you can see, if I just select the camera this is the first animation this uh, the monitor is the second and this this is the last okay which you can rate and subscribe and all cool thing all the project file is uh, in Udemy in our page motion guru okay so uh, in case if you want to add some image to to this empty place, I mean to this post, which is uh, marked by white color, okay? So uh, what you have to do is that you just click, if, you, if I make a little bit of room here, and I press turn on this one. What you need is that you just apply this array modifier on top of this one okay if I just press number the slash you can see here and now if I just play around with my animation which I made here as you can see okay so now if, if I just press tab you see that this is on the one okay if I add one image here okay it gonna repeat that image to all of my faces okay so um, so let me go to the shading okay and press zero get rid of that and again on the slash so here we have those and or maybe we can click on here on this EV as well maybe that's not an EV cycle EV okay so um, we go to the object instead of word because word is speaking about the uh, HDRI and lighting so here we have a pause if I just press um, the dot on your keyboard okay as you can see now but period it called so uh, now I selected the post page okay as you can see if I go to the solid mode and press tab you have here I added to this one one material and rename that post page so tab again number the slash to zoom back okay and again to render view so here I just type image okay image texture and connect this one to the base color as you can see now we have a different color so um, I have maybe yeah I have a color picker okay and and this is HDRI that I use here if I go with the cover okay just cover um, this image that I used for the PC Okay. as you can see this is full HD and our Instagram page is square a little bit square okay so you can go to the U editing and fix that without any issue okay as you can see here I just press a select everything and and make sure that you have this screen here as well okay and you can just or maybe maybe in this one a case I just uh, click again here okay 
and I maybe need this one. So shift, if you are using a uh, PC like me and save that image, okay? So I just want to bring one image, okay? Okay, so instead of that one, I want to connect this one, okay? The new one. So back to the UV, okay? And here, if I just press, um, I mean U and Q projection, okay? And we just scan that a little bit. And as you can see here, we have that one. okay and as you can see now we have that one okay and uh, as i told you that's repeating okay that's a repetition and if you just select and uh, and apply the array okay and you have that one for each of your posts okay but the cool thing is that if you just click okay you have 13 posts okay which you can um, choose whatever for example here you can add another and call that and assign that okay post page uh, underscore two okay and again you can uh, image texture and apply here for example the this one okay and so on for example you can drag here so I just copy this one okay copy and now I just add another and select I mean not this one just type 3 instead okay and assign okay and now if I just click here and just copy this one and paste it here and instead of this I'm gonna use for example this one okay and you see that here we have different okay page as you can see here okay and you just add for each one of these you want okay if I press number the slash again for example, here I have a heart, okay? Yeah, here. So I maybe um, change this one to shader, okay? And I select tab, and instead of this one, I want to. Okay, so select that okay and we we click here okay and add a new and four five six seven eight and we maybe can rename that eight okay post eight I mean post page eight which gonna be just that one that color okay so actually you have that ability as well here okay and you can change in whatever color you want okay um, so yeah for me white okay you have you have that full control over each of these guys okay and maybe need to for example a black okay so you can add so many as you want okay and if you can even you can for example here type your name okay and if we, if we just go to the asset browser 
and select the category okay if I just for example type a name go to the tab select the one select the text and type uh, motion okay and you just click here and sign a new font okay so I'm gonna just sign that one motion okay and now I give that a little bit of extrude mm. this is the depth I think and yeah, that's fine as well geometry yeah extrude you have here and now if you go to the object and find the one okay here we have and you mark that as an asset and if you click here to the all you have the one here okay so now I delete that one from here okay and it will go away from here as well so but you can what you can do is click and drag okay and maybe move that in that direction geometry to origin and then rotate that according uh, local okay not according okay as you can see that's perfectly aligned and even you can play around with maybe x uh, or maybe y as you can see here okay and now you are able to change that okay if you go to and for example rate okay or rate and like and like as you can see you will update and maybe if you click that and set it on sender center right Or center and then we just grab that one okay and now shift so the next is uh, if we just parent that one to our heart okay what will happen is that okay it has the uh, rotation uh, I mean the scale animation and because this is the parent of this and this title is the child <clears throat> so that's it guys okay I just wanted to show you this uh, step and you can use that as well in your case okay if you want it and even we can grab and uh, maybe give that a blue emissive okay just type blue and blue emissive or maybe here we wanted to make a another emissive like this yeah okay guys So please like and subscribe us. Um, actually here, what I did is, if we go to the cycle, okay? And from here, as you can see, inside this one, I added an emissive, okay? But here we can't see that, uh, unless uh, we go to the, 
uh, cycle. So those are really uh, fast, okay, very fast animation. We can make those a little bit longer by selecting all the keyframe, okay, for animation and just hold down your uh, this yeah, hold on your timeline okay at the first at the beginning of the frames and select all the keyframe and just scan those two times two times gonna be at 40 60 and 80 so it's gonna slow down your animation okay so here is that we go to the this number uh, we made in geometry okay geometry node and that ring green ring as well uh, I, I mean that what that one wasn't in the geometry node but we animate that using some solidify modifier and this cool things so the full course is uh, available on the udemy so be sure to check that out and thank you guys and have a great time